right. I didn't do this on purpose. I swear to you I didn't do this on purpose, but the dog's back. The only reason why she's back is because I rearranged my whole office. Hopefully I'll make a video for you guys about that to show you the changes that I made. But with the change, I now have a dog couch behind me. And yeah. So she's back. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Bishop, and today I wanted to just talk to you really quickly about um, why I finally kind of have come to the conclusion that the remake of Call of Duty 4 might not be such a good thing as we all are excited about the remastered. If you've seen the trailers, you're seeing that it's coming back in 1080p, 60 frames per second on the next gen consoles. It's not going to be on the old generation consoles, so they're actually able to upgrade these things. You don't need to worry about the people who can't upgrade or won't upgrade or don't have the money to upgrade or whatever the heck it is, the new generation stuff, they're basically telling them to F off and to save their money. After some thought after my last video about why I thought COD 4 was such a great thing to be remastered, I also thought about one huge downside to this and it's something that I think not only I'm thinking but I think everybody else is but I want to see what you guys think as well. The remaster of this has made me realize also why they will not do backwards compatible for Call of Duty for the 360 versions on the next gen. Maybe they might do that now since next gen's not being handled anymore. But honestly, if they had done these Call of Duties before Black Ops 3 was released and they made them backwards compatible, you may not have seen such a great release for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. The reason why I'm saying that is because there's so many people that are so excited and so hyped about COD 4 and its remastered version coming out that the scary part for Infinity Ward is that Infinite Warfare may not get as much attention as COD 4. And that to me is the biggest issue that they're going to run into, okay? Um, I've already read there's going to be dedicated servers, I've already read that there's going to be dedicated support for the games, uh, I'm sorry, for COD 4. You know, like I said, I already said, it's going to be 1080p and 60 frames per second. You're bringing back one of the top Call of Duties, one of the most favorite Call of Duties of all time. And it's going to be going up against the new release of Infinite Warfare. And like I said, the biggest problem is that what if people start gra gravitating more towards COD 4 and Infinite Warfare doesn't get what it's supposed to get. This is a big risk in Infinity Ward's part because if you start seeing more players online playing COD 4 than Infinite Warfare, you know, they, they took a title that was a brand new release and found out that it lost to an old classic. Now one of the things about Infinite Warfare, I'm sure all of you have seen the trailer, if you haven't, go watch it. They are bringing back it looks like the movements from Black Ops 3. If you watch the uh, trailer, you can see some guys boosting a little bit. It's not as bad as Advanced Warfare. It looks like it's just kind of, hey, let me get over this thing that's a little bit higher, like in Black Ops 3. So I'm okay with that. I'm just glad that we're not getting Advanced Warfare stuff. Obviously, when Infinite Warfare was named, first thought was, oh shit, Advanced Warfare movement. But that's not the case. Uh, the trailer is obviously all campaign mode. It's no multiplayer stuff. It's all campaign mode, so we have no idea what's coming in multiplayer. I'm not going to sit here and review the trailer and try and break everything down for you. Millions of people are doing that. I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys and see what you guys think. Do you do you think the same way I do? Do you think that COD 4 may outdo Infinite Warfare? Do you think that that's going to cause a problem? Or do you think that that's going to show the studios what people really want? If you get more people playing COD 4, will that change all future Call of Duties? Okay, because who's up next? Sledgehammer? I believe it's Sledgehammer. Are they going to do Advanced Warfare 2? Or if COD 4 gets the love that I think it's going to get, will that absolutely change everything if uh, Sledgehammer's going to have to do so? Just want to tell you guys really quickly about that. I'm still obviously, you know, as I've said before, I'm still going to play Infinite Warfare. I'm also going to play COD 4. I'm just, I'm excited about both things, and it's going to be a great year once it gets released later on in November. You know, there's lots of thoughts going into my head. What about competitive? What about things like that? Maybe I'll bring that to you guys in a, in a future video, but we'll see what goes on. And I hope you guys are excited as me uh, to see when more information comes out about Infinite Warfare. We may have a lull right now because they've released the campaign trailer teaser. You're not going to probably get any multiplayer stuff, maybe until a convention, I think E6. Might be the next time we see this stuff, so we may have a nice little lull with Infinite Warfare news. You never know. So, 
Stay tuned for more. Subscribe for more. Throw me a like on this. Throw a comment on this video. Thank you so much for all the support. Thank you to everybody who's new to my channel. I really do appreciate everything. As everybody knows, I reply to all my comments because I love talking to you guys. So, it's your boy Bishop. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.